the SBSR, SBSR or satellite sensor right in the B pillar is what controls the fuel pump on a BMW 7 Series E65, E66. I'm just going to go over the wiring diagram to see how this actually works. The DME control unit is sending a signal to the central gateway module, also known as the ZGM. Now the ZGM is going to go to the safety information module. The SBSR is actually part of the bite flight system, which is part of the airbag monitoring system and triggering system. So one of the first things to check is to make sure that fuse 73 is good. That's a 15 amp fuse and that's actually going to be sending power to the satellite right B pillar sensor. I'll show you the location of the fuse in just a minute. Let's go down a little bit further and we can take a look at here's our satellite sensor B pillar right and here is our power supply from that sensor. Now this sensor does need to be programmed in order for it to actually send the voltage to the fuel pump upon replacement. And you can see it says EKP, that's electronic fuel pump control, positive. And that's going to be sending power from pin 2 of the satellite sensor to pin 4 at the fuel pump. So you can check continuity between pins 2 and 4 and make sure that you don't have a break in this wire. You can also power the pump at pin 4 to verify that the pump is running and your ground would be pin 1 and this is the motor for the pump right here and also part of it is the fuel level sensor and if you see right here actually your ground is also that B pillar satellite so that B pillar satellite is controlling both power and ground so also check between pin 1 and pin 3 at the satellite B pillar right so pin 1 is at the fuel pump ground and pin 3 is the activation side. So with the fuel pump unplugged and someone is cranking the vehicle, keep in mind, you should see power at pin 4 if that satellite sensor is working correctly and your fuse is good. Also, if you were checking from pin 1 to ground, during cranking only, this is the little processor right here, this is going to be activating the ground circuit for that fuel pump and that fuel pump is actually fully variable and that's where they can control how much fuel pressure and it saves on emissions and that's why they do it this way. Let's take a quick look at fuse 73. Now fuse 73 is a 15 amp fuse and that does control power to the B pillar satellite which is right down here. So if that fuse is open or if the fuel pump was failing and was drawing too many amps, that fuse could fail. And if we come up here, it's actually sent power from the battery to the power module, which is then sent to fuse 73. So you can also check, and it, this is actually kind of important, that you're getting power to your satellite B-pillar right at pin 1 of that connector. Fuse 73 is going to be located in the right side of the trunk and it's going to be on this bottom row right here. It's so probably that one right there, Fuse 73. So double check that that fuse is a good fuse. If you're not getting power to that fuse, then you might actually have a problem with your power module. What you'd want to check would be the connection on the back of the power module itself where that fuse is. Most likely though, this is going to be good. Play, Let's take a look right here at this connector right here at the B-pillar satellite at pit, pin 1 X10510. So X10510, they're just showing you the location of uh, the B-pillar satellite. You're going to want to disconnect the battery when you are replacing the satellite sensor. I would first take all the panels off like I'm going to show you and then make sure the battery is disconnected so that uh, you don't set any airbag faults because this is also a satellite sensor for the airbag system for the bite flight so you're going to have a fiber optic connector as well as an electrical connector pin 1 is going to be part of the electrical connector um, if you do see light on that uh, fiber optic system then most likely you're going to set an airbag fault also, when you replace or install a new B-pillar satellite, the system time needs to be started. That's done through programming. And also, the fuel pump isn't activated until it's 
it's programmed. Now if you're using a used SBSR, you might get away with being able to clear the codes, um, although the system time might not match. And that would have to be started using a BMW tester or through programming. On a BMW 7 Series E65 and E66, the SBSI, SBSR, or Satellite B-Pillar Sensor Right, which is located right here, controls the fuel pump. I'm going to go over how to access the SBSR Satellite Sensor. It's actually part of the airbag system, but it also controls the power to the fuel pump. The only downfall here is that the SBSR needs to be programmed when it's replaced in order for it to power up the fuel pump. You do have to start by removing this bottom trim right here which is on the passenger front door. You pry up underneath at these spots here you're going to have these clips. Let me scroll down so you can see the clips. You're going to have these clips right here, and they hold on to this trim. So just pry in those locations to remove that trim panel. I would also remove the back door bottom sill piece in the same way. Now you're going to have a screw for this little vent right here at the B pillar that you're going to need to remove to remove this nozzle. And then behind that, you're going to have an additional two screws to remove. And that's going to allow you to remove that panel. It is held on by clips on the bottom, so if you pop it off towards you on the bottom, you can see the arrow facing this way. Once you have those screws and, and that uh, vent removed, you'll be able to pop this off, and that's going to give you access to the B-pillar. These are the plastic clips that you'll have to line up to reinstall that B-pillar. You can see actually your seat belt is actually located behind that B-pillar as well. You may need to replace those plastic clips. Just be careful when you line them up when you go back together. You may have to remove this upper section of the B-pillar as well. It's held on by those plastic rivets right here. So basically you're just gonna pry this end out right here and that's gonna enable you to take these two clips off this is going to drop down towards you and out and that's going to open up the entire B-pillar. Now you can leave the section that goes to the seat attached but you're going to have to take the two screws off here which is the seat belt guide then you have another screw number two and then you can also drop the entire upper portion of the seat belt up here if you need to that's actually held on by some screws as well and then towards the bottom is the roll. You will gonna need you are gonna need to remove this. So you have release screw one, and that's the automatic reel right here. Now it is uh, you have to put it in a very specific position to release it. So when you reinstall, um, you might have to do that because of uh, the the strap won't release. Uh, because it is an inertia reel, you have to hold it in a special look, special angle in order to get that reel to release. But as long as you get it in that spot, it should, you should be able to reinstall it without any problem. Now you need you need to do that in order to get to the satellite sensor, which is actually located on the back side of the B pillar. You can't actually see it from inside the vehicle with the B pillar installed. You can see this wiring going up to it right here. So you have to unscrew bolt one loosen screws two, and this is a slot right here. So you're gonna leave the wiring attached and once that's released it's gonna pop down you can use the wiring to guide it out and it's gonna have to come out through that bottom access hole. That's your satellite sensor. Once you get it down to the bottom then you can release the plug connections and you're gonna feed the B-pillar sensor out in the direction of the arrow to remove it. Reinstalling it, just showing you that you can position it by starting up top here and then kind of guiding it down to get it back into those two slots right there to then uh, lock into place. But that's where the B pillar sensor is located. It does need to be programmed 
using a BMW programmer in order for that uh, B-pillar sensor to release power to the fuel pump. So you still may need to visit a shop to have them program that B-pillar sensor.